The question asked is, in an acute case, rapidly ascending, what pathology is typically optimal? What about in an acute case with a more gradual onset? Well, the question of pathology is simple in principle in the sense that the, the, remedy, the, the remedy, the potency, the repetition, the way of administering the remedy must be uh, adapted to each patient at each visit in order that the pathology be optimal, meaning that the recovery of the patient is not too slow, it's just perfectly without, uh, the recovery is gentle and rapid. So uh, if somebody can recover in, in, in six months, why prolong it over one or two years? So the, in an acute case, uh, so, so this is the basic principle of pathology, both for acute and chronic. However, uh, the, co the question is very complex when you have to adapt it to uh, each individual patient in a particular cl clinical setting, and um, um, it has to be taught clinically. This subject is a clinical subject that has to be taught with cases. However, uh, if we try to uh, answer this question in a, in a simple way for acute, quickly ascending, the pathology must be uh, optimal, that means it has to be higher, it has to be proportional to the, uh, to the disease. So if the disease is fast ascending, if you give a, a 6 C potency to a patient like, like say, has 104 uh, pneumonia, uh, a fever with pneumonia, and the temperature is constantly increasing, the, the 6 C of the potency of the remedy will do nothing. So you have to bring, you, you have to bring your remedy, uh, your, your potency higher, and you have to repeat it often. Uh, so it's an art that takes a long time to learn, and um, we learn every we we learn more every year as we practicing, and so in other ways to be uh, more um, a better prescriber in terms of finding the remedy, and also a better prescriber in terms of finding what is the optimal pathology at each visit with each patient. So uh, sometimes, like when somebody has an acute, uh, very acute. Uh, uh, condition. I will have the patient take the remedy every 20 minutes, sometime every 10 minutes, sometime every 5 minutes. So if you have a patient with increased intense pain, let's say somebody with cancer pain, very intense cancer pain, I will have them put the remedy in water, stir the water, and take a bit of the water every 5 minutes. Similarly, when we have somebody that has uh, coming out of surgery and they have uh, the after the anesthesia wears out. We have them uh, take apericum. That's a very common prescription. If, uh, uh, but there could be other remedy like aconite. Sometimes could be cefisagra in other case. Belladonna could be. So depending of the case, but let's say often it will be apericum. So when they start to feel the pain, we have the remedy put in water. Let's say apericum 200, and we stir the water and we give a teaspoon of the water every five to ten minutes, depending of the intensity of the pain. And the patient. Uh, um, keep stirring the water before each dose, and they do that for six doses. By the six doses, the pain is mostly gone, and then they, anytime the pain will come back, sometimes the pain will come back two, three, four hours later, they have to stir the water again and start again to take it every five, ten minutes, depending on the intensity of the pain, and the pain goes away. So the, 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 art, of, um, the art of prescribing uh, can make a big difference in making um, the patient recover quickly, or, and or um, not at all. So if uh, I see patient, for instance, uh, with chronic disease, and the remedy was given once or twice over one year period, and when they come to me, let's say I'm thinking right now of patient with Parkinson, the remedy had to be given daily actually, and only with daily dose they they improve in a dramatic way over a prolonged amount of time over years. Uh, while the one or two dose in a year didn't make a difference in patient with Parkinson. So it's a real art to prescribe remedy uh, in order that the patient recovers. The, the great, greatest number of patients recovers with, um, the, in the most gentle, most rapid uh, way. So if, the, if the, the second part of the question is, what about if the acute case is more gradual onset? So gradual onset, like more like subacute. So you just take a midway between this and chronic. So you, you, you give, you, the best thing sometimes is to give one dose and watch how long the patient reacts to it. So let's say they react to it for an hour. That means they give you an idea that you need to give the remedy before they relapse an hour. So you could say, take the remedy every half hour for the next two hours, and then we will see how long you, you 
you, you do. So you don't want to give too much of the remedy, but you don't want to give too little. You want to give the optimal. And that's, the patient will tell you. How the patient tells you is you give one single dose, you watch the reaction, and then from there you say, okay, the patient react one or two days, let's say in a chronic case, or a week or two weeks or a month, or in an acute case uh, for two hours, half an hour, and then you have to repeat the remedy in, uh, in relation to uh, what the patient is telling you by their response to the remedy.